Hello, everyone. Ooh. Let's see. Hi, Inner Beauty Out. Hi, Chai Girly. Hi. Hello, everyone. Unscripted. I didn't know if anyone would be here or out shopping like I am. Thank you for the hearts. Hello, Mix Me. Peppy628. Hi there. Hello. Everyone's still here. I didn't know if you'd be out working or what. What's everyone doing? Hi, Mix Me. Thank you for joining. I'm Kelly Fisher. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hello, pretty to you too. Inner Beauty out. Thank you. It was a messy day. It's raining out here. I'm in New Jersey. Um, so it's kind of wild, but I said, you know what? I'm going to go with it. I have on a shirt that is talking about love. And I said, oh, their lips are red, so I'm going to put some red on too. Okay, slow day at work. Okay, well, you're getting paid for it, so that's a good thing. Hi, just me, Kim Cole. My neck of the woods, yes, I'm here in New Jersey with my family at the barbershop with my son. Okay. Hello, Jules. How are you? I'm out here shopping and um, tan well, first of all, I'm Kelly Fisher, one half of the duo, as you see. I'm sorry I missed you guys last um, week, but um, Tana and I are here. In, well, we're, we're here in New York City um, working and just trying to get things ready for next year. Hi, how are you? And you gave me an eye. Okay, I feel very special. Kelly with an eye, I feel like we know each other. Hello. And I'm sitting here. My mom was like, don't show me, but I'm going to show her anyway. I'm shopping with my mom. Hello. Say hi, mom. Hello. Yay. <laughs> Yay for mom. <laughs> Happy holiday to you all. <laughs> Yay. Someone else has been working in New York this week, too. <laughs> They're saying hi. Look. Hi, mom. We're showing her how to, to scope. Yay. Oh, I love my mommy. I love my <laughs> they said happy holidays. You too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the hearts. Thank you. So anyway, we're going out here shopping. But for those of you who don't know, whoever's new, let me know, you know, that you're new. Um, just type N-E-W and um, Northern New Jersey, your neck of the woods. Okay, I'm originally from Plainfield. And I'm here visiting family all over the place now. We were working the last couple days and we were in New York City and popping in just to say hello and thank you to those who have helped us along the way and making some strategic partnerships for next year. So we're going to, we have a great 2016 uh, on the way. So I'm just so thankful. But um, for those of you don't, who don't know, hey, hi, New. I'm sorry I missed you. Um, I'm Kelly Fisher, and I am one half of the matchmaking duo. Tana Gilmore is my business partner. And the funny thing is, she is flying back. She was here. She's flying back to um, Charlotte this afternoon. So she's going to jump on. I'm going to stay on for 10 minutes or so, and then she's going to jump on after me. So we said, we'll pass the scope. We'll pass it. <laughs> hi, Flea. Thank you for joining and thank you for the beautiful hearts. So anyway, I woke up and you know what? Before I get started, you know how I do. I forget to ask you all to join us on social media. Ugh. So the Matchmaking Duo on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course our website is how you can contact us. So we're both um, certified relationship coaches and professional matchmakers. And our goal is really just to bring love um, and life to, to people all over the country. So we're having a ball doing that. So I wanted to, you know what, I, I woke up today and I said, you know what, what can I share um, with everyone? I don't want to just get up on here and say I'm going shopping and all that because, I mean, we're all shopping. But what I was thinking is I am just so thankful and just where I've arrived in my life. And I thought maybe just sharing a few things. I mean, I think I am the happiest that I have ever been in my entire life. And so going back like maybe seven years ago, and I don't think we put too many of the details in this book, but we're thinking about writing a second book um, just to say, because we always say there's nothing that our clients can bring to us that we haven't lived through. So yes, we're certified and we went and got credentialed, but we have just been, Tan and I have been through so much, as I'm sure you all are as have been as well. I'm sorry, I dropped something here. Um, but anyway, um, so I thought I would just talk about four things that I did to arrive at my best life because I am so happy. You all know that I um, am divorced, so I'm the single um, half of the duo. So, you know, back on the dating scene and all of that, I have three beautiful daughters that I introduced to you all um, over the Thanksgiving holiday that keep me busy. So I'm a single mom, I'm an entrepreneur, and just helping people get back out there, rebuilding their confidence. You know why? Because I did it myself. Yes, I did. I did it. And I'm telling you, about seven years ago, many of you don't know, 
I mean, I was fighting with my daughter who had just been diagnosed with cancer um, right after her fourth birthday. Um, I also was going through a divorce, a failed relationship. Um, right around that time, I also was let go and um, lost my job. I was downsized from a six-figure job. So, I mean, I was, it was rough, really rough. So I was trying to think of, you know, when I woke up today, I was so happy. Thank you. I was so happy. And I was like, wow, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm making... $10 million at this point, or if I go back to losing everything, I am just so content and fulfilled. And that's one of the things that I wanted to pass on to you all that, you know, I think just being the happiest person that you can just really, yes, it is a blessing. Thank you. Um, and just working on yourself just helps in relationships. It helps in um, your job. It just helps in just being able to affect other people around you. So now when I'm able to talk to clients, I can say, you know, yes, I have the clinical knowledge. I have all of that. But guess what? I lived through it and I made it. I'm so happy for you, sister. It's a beautiful thing to get there. It ain't easy. Yes, I made it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I make sure to share this with your followers if you don't mind. So the first thing I wanted to share, so I said, okay, four things I did to arrive at living my best life. So the first thing that I did, and it's not for everyone, is I went back and strengthened my faith. So, you know, you might not be someone who's spiritual or go to church or mosque or wherever every day, but I did have to strengthen my relationship with God and just kind of seek, you know, what it is, you know, what are all these tears for? I mean, I was at the point where it was just so bad. I was like, what have I done? What have I done in life to have this horrible of a life? I mean, I was actually, we'll put it in the in the book as well. I was actually at the point where I had to go and, you know, apply for food stamps. I mean, from going from tailored suits to being on social, you know, public assistance, trying to find, um, you know, things to feed my kids and trying to make sure that they had everything. I was like, what are all these tears for? This is just the worst ever. But now that I am, you know, affecting other people, and now it has all come full circle because now I realize that, you know, the failed relationships and, um, you know, the, the pushing through helping my daughter, you know, go through cancer. And we lost a lot of kids along the way, but just helping her and seeking out all of the treatments and things like that. Um, you know, now I'm able to have conversations with people with doesn't matter where they've been or where they've come from. I'm able to really relate. So, you know, kind of just all came full circle at this point. So I don't know, you know, who this is for or, you know, where you are in life, but I just wanted to share and encourage you that, you know, even though it might seem like everything is absolutely awful and yes, Christmas and all the holidays are here, it will all, and everyone used to always say, your season's coming, your time is coming. I'd say, when? Okay. When, when is it coming? I know it's coming, but when? Okay. So anyway, I don't know if any, has anybody felt like that? Because I feel like I'm rambling right now, but it's something that I want you all to, to know about me. That's how I feel. Aww. Let's say, um, what doesn't kill truly makes you stronger. Exactly. It really does. And people would say that all the time. And I'm like, yeah, okay. But it actually does. So I feel you. Yep. Yo, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. So that's the first thing I did. I strengthened my relationship with God and my faith. The second thing I did, yes, I'm in the when now. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you, you feel like, okay, I know it's coming, but I can promise you 150% that it is coming. <laughs> Always with you. Thank you, Tamika. I relate to your walk. I'm so glad. Um, and it's hard to talk about these things too. I can't even believe years later I'm telling all this stuff on Periscope, but if it can help one person, I'm, cl I'm glad to share it. Um, so the second thing is I had to prune friends, family, and relationships that weren't supportive. <sighs> Can I say that one more time? I had to prune friends, family, and relationships that weren't supportive. And I'm telling you, that is a painful process, especially when you have been friends with people for a long time, whether it's family. <laughs> she said, preach. <laughs> Thank you, Motown girl. <laughs> Oh, that's that's hard. Yes, I've done it. And you I mean, it's like almost, I don't know, tearing away at something. But just people that you can't be scared to fire our friends. Exactly. Um, but just people that you thought were there for you, especially I can even think back to and we had a million people who really helped and were like angels when my daughter went through cancer. But there would be some people would say, well, I would come and do something. But you know, I don't do hospitals. 
guess what? I don't either. I don't do hospitals. I don't do funerals either, but I do it because you do it because you want to support someone. So, you know, we just do people who will go out of their way, you know, to be there for you. Thank you. Nobody does. Okay, <laughs> I don't either. Okay. None of us. My daughter didn't want to be there either. But um, just knowing who's there for you and who's not there for you. So that's another thing. So around me now is every single person in my my group is very small. But everyone that's around me is there for me. They're supporting me. They are positive influences. So if you can just do, there's a lot we don't do exactly. If there's one thing you can do just between now and the next month is reevaluate your circle. I'm telling you, I feel like a ton of weight is list, is lifted. So even though I was like, wow, we've been friends forever and, you know, even family and all that. You know what? Now I just feel like, you know, the people, you see who your real friends are when things get hard. Yes. Why is it the ones you expect to be there aren't and your angels are the ones you never expected? Yes. Kimberly, can I get a high five on that? The people that you didn't even expect to be there for you are the ones who actually are. So, you know, definitely go through the whole pruning season. And yes, it might be a little painful, but I'm telling you, I promise you from me to you that you will feel a million times better. So the third thing is I discovered what makes me happy. So I realized that a lot of the times listening and driving. OK, so don't look, though, but just listen. Hi, JQ abroad. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts, everyone. So just discovering, I realized a reason for a lot of my failed relationships in the beginning was that I was so busy trying to make sure that I made them happy, that I wasn't really offering anything because I was like, kind of like a puppet almost, you know, just doing whatever. So, OK, you want me to do this? You want me to do that? Oh, I should go this way. I should go that way. You know, but now I'm at the point where, you know, I just know exactly what makes me happy and I'm bringing my best self to any relationship, whether it's. Um, business relationships, whether it's dating relationships, um, my family. So, you know, now when they see me, I'm not just kind of, I guess, kind of blending in with what they want, but I'm bringing in my own opinion and, you know, no, I can't do that on Tuesday because Tuesdays I go to the spa or, you know, I can't do that on Thursdays because Thursday at seven o'clock I'm, you know, at church or something like that. So I just have my own schedule and I think that has really helped to just to define who I am and what makes me happy. And the fourth thing is I use my trials and failures and all my embarrassing moments and mistakes to help others. So just being able to bare my soul at this point, because you know, at this point it doesn't even matter. Thank you. Great points on how to recover. Thank you, Miss Tamika. I love you. <laughs> That's one of my sisters in AKA. Um, but yes, so just using all of the things, a lot of times we carry around so much baggage because we don't want anybody to know what we've been through or, you know, what we've done or the mistakes we've made. But I promise you a hundred percent, if you can start sharing, especially the things that you've overcome, yes, it might be embarrassing, but you would be surprised the amount of people that you can help along the way just by sharing, you know, what you've been through and what you've overcome. So those are my four tips. I hope you will have a fantastic Christmas. Where are you all anyway? Are you, what are you doing for the holiday? Let me just hear that and then I'm going to pass it on to Tana who's going to jump on there for a minute. But what are we doing today, mom? Shopping. Love you, sweetheart. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yes. Amen. Family. Merry Christmas. Yes. What are you doing? Where are you all? Are you going home? Are you cooking what are you gonna make I was just in the store just now trying to finagle someone to make a red velvet cake for me because I don't have anything to bring but I don't want to come empty-handed okay you're working Christmas Eve oh hi mom Tamika said hi sweetie <laughs> <laughs> staying here in Charlotte okay at home trying to work and yelling at the kids <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Oh my gosh. She said, put mom on the camera. I put her on the camera. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Happy holiday. Yay, Love my mommy. daughter. Love you all. <laughs> my mom. Oh, she is the best. <laughs> Beautiful. Happy holiday. Love your scopes. I love you guys too. I'm sorry I missed it last week, but I am back. They are 18 and 8. Ooh. Whoa. Wow. That's fun. <laughs> Give them an extra hug for us. Now, the funny thing is, I'm going to go and try to stop the broadcast like I did before. You know, Tana usually hits the button. So I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> and if it doesn't cut off, I'm just going to turn the phone off. 
I need help. So anyway, Merry Christmas. I love you guys. And I hope that you will have a wonderful holiday with your family and friends while I go out and try to find a few bargains. See you. Bye.